When Fernando Alonso announced that he would be running in his first Indy 500, it quickly became the most important storyline in the month of May. Now, many people were curious to see how the two-time Formula One world champion would adjust for the greatest spectacle in racing. Well, it was not a big deal, to be honest. It was um, definitely a new experience um, because you run at those speeds for the whole lap. It's not one instance on the lap that you reach 220 or 230 miles. For Alonso, race day came with moments of excitement, highlighted by the Spaniard leading 27 laps in India. I was passing and watching the tower. I saw the 29 on top of it, and uh, I was thinking at that moment if Zach or someone from the team was taking a picture of that tower because I want that picture at home. Ultimately, Alonso's initial baptism into IndyCar would get cut short a blown engine ending his day on the front stretch just shy of turn one. Despite the disappointing finish, Fernando Alonso enjoyed his first Indy 500. Um, you know, the, the first 180 laps I, I really enjoy, and uh, the guys were very respect, respectful there. Uh, they were helping, you know, each other. The restarts were fun. The pit stops were also different here, but also uh, fun. So uh, I think overall it was uh, a very nice experience. After being so competitive in his first 500, the question remains, can we expect Alonzo back at the track next May? I don't have a, a clear answer yet, so I don't want to put uh, uh, expectations on, on the coming back, or I don't want to, to say I will not come back because I maybe I'm coming back next year. So mm -hmm. at the moment, it's 50-50. Until further notice, the world will wait and see if the F1 superstar returns to the speedway. And we certainly hope he does. Connor Hoke, 24-Hour News 8.